Hello everyone, so today we'll be talking about the 6 tools I use to grow my YouTube channel to 1k subscribers. If you're new to starting a YouTube channel and don't know what software to use for video editing, thumbnail creation, or keyword research, then this video is just for you. If you're new to this channel, make sure you check out my last video on my 8 tips on how to get 1000 YouTube subscribers fast, because in that video, I'll lay out the overarching strategies for getting to 1000 subscribers, which you should watch before this video, because in this video, I'll get into the specifics of the tools that I'll use. And here's the cards for that previous video. Alright, so let's get right into it. The first tool is Videoscribe, which is a whiteboard animation software. Whiteboard animations are widely popular right now, especially for explainer videos. Whiteboard animations are great at simulating a classroom environment, and the drawing animations make it even more engaging for the students. There are many whiteboard animation software out there, and Videoscribe was just one of many that I came across. You can see the screenshot below for their pricing, and it's not too expensive if you purchase the month-to-month -month option. You can also use their free trial and try it beforehand before you purchase. So to make a whiteboard animation video, you actually don't need any programming or drawing skills at all. All you need to do is find the picture that you want and the software will do the animation for you. The picture does need to be in .svg format or scalable vector graphic, otherwise the drawing animation won't work. You can either find .svg images for free from the internet or you can browse in the library within Videoscribe. If you can't find a DOS SVG format of your image, you can still use it for Videoscribe, but the animation is not as nice. The most time consuming portion of doing these whiteboard animations is syncing the animations with the voiceover. Depending on the complexity of the animation, a 5 minute video can take 5 to 10 hours to make. Tool number 2 is Premiere Pro. Premiere Pro is a video editing software made by Adobe. If you want to include advanced special effects, then you need Adobe After Effects as well, otherwise Premiere Pro should be sufficient. For my mining engineering videos, I use mainly the basic video editing functions such as cuts and joining videos. For my travel and motivational videos, I had to use more advanced functions such as transition effects and color grading. One benefit of using popular software such as Premiere Pro is that there are lots of tutorials online and that makes it easier to try out new effects or finding presets and templates. Personally, I love video editing so I went with a higher end video editing software. But if you're just starting YouTube and don't think you use a lot of effects, you can just go for cheaper or even free options such as Lightworks, which is what I used before using Premiere Pro. Tool number three is Audacity, and Audacity is a free audio editing software. Whenever I record voiceover, I usually edit it in Audacity to give it a more polished sound. Like Premiere Pro, Audacity is a popular software, and you can easily find tutorials online to give yourself that golden radio voice. It is also a very comprehensive audio editing software, and there are many functions on here that I haven't ever used before so it is bound to suit most of your needs as a new YouTuber. Tool number four is Canva. Canva is a free to use online graphic software and it's a great software to use not only for YouTube thumbnails, but for all social media graphics in general. Canva comes with templates for whatever social media posts you're trying to make, whether it's YouTube thumbnails, banners, Instagram posts, Facebook, LinkedIn, etc and the templates are preset to the optimal size for the respective social media platform. Canva also comes with an online suite of free graphics and pictures for you to use. However, some of the pictures are considered premium and you have to pay a small fee to use them. You also have the option to upload your own images as well, so you don't have to exclusively use what they provide. Occasionally, I found that Canva has graphics that I couldn't find anywhere else, so I ended up paying for it. The payment process is pretty simple. All you have to do is just connect your credit card to your account, and Canva will charge your credit card per image or graphic that you use. Usually, the graphics cost $1 to $2, so the pricing is pretty reasonable, especially if you aren't constantly generating graphics. 
A Canva account is free to create, and I highly recommend that you create an account since it will allow you to save all your design work and that will make it easier for you to reference in case you want to reuse or modify a design. Tool number five is Social Blade. YouTube actually has pretty comprehensive analytics, but one place where it falls short is tracking the day-to-day -day growth, and that's where Social Blade shines. Social Blade is good at tracking day-to-day -day and historic subscriber growth and number of video views. Another thing that Social Blade does well is predicting future growth. I've actually tried picking a date in the future to see if the predictions are accurate and to my surprise, it was actually pretty spot on. The predictions work well, assuming you don't deviate too much from your routine or barring extreme events. And lastly, tool number six is vidIQ. So in my guide to getting 1K YouTube subscribers, I mentioned how important it is to choose highly searched keywords. vidIQ is a great software that will help you identify keywords that are likely to succeed. Ideally, you want to target keywords that are high in search volume and low in competition. Additionally, vidIQ will also show you all the keywords that your competitors are using, so you can target those too or draw inspirations from them. vidIQ will also show if you're ranking highly for the keywords used in your video, and that will help you know which words are succeeding and which words aren't. So there you have it. These are my six favorite tools for growing my YouTube channel. Let me know if you use any of these or if there are other tools you use here that I didn't mention. And for those who are new to this channel, make sure you do subscribe because I will drop more YouTube tips as I grow up my channels and just sharing out what works for me and what doesn't. And hopefully my tips can help you grow your channel too. So thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.